Taking a look at today's equity index futures markets, let's take a look at the S&P 500 futures as they're realizing another strong day today, up better than 1%, currently around a 32.25 level. And that's the highest level since February 25th. And really, when you look at the chart from uh, going back the, for the, the year, let's go back uh, for the last six months, you're looking at, again, the S&P futures really pushing up to the highest level here just prior to the or just in the early stages of the sell off due to the coronavirus. And so I think, again, this momentum continues to evolve. We're looking at the S&P futures up 10 out of the last 11 trading days. So this upward momentum is certainly helping to boost all these futures higher. And in the case of the Nasdaq, all-time highs. Looking at the driving factors, I think the reopening storyline continues to pick up steam. Uh, it feels like there's just more activity out there. The psychology within, it, within the economic structure seems to be shifting towards a much more positive tone. Uh, so I think that's helping. Couple that with the stimulus that's providing this foundation for this big move that we've seen in the S&P 500 futures and the other futures markets uh, is creating that back backstop. And I think, again, you continue to see this rotation now taking place where we're seeing uh, value seekers coming in and buying up names that were, in theory, undervalued based on the current economic activity. And that's another driving factor here and looking at a rotation here within the futures as well. Third thing, I think, under allocation. I can tell you when you look at some of the price action here late today, we did see the futures have a big run just late in the day. And that was an, that's an indication that there's probably some portfolios, some asset allocation people out there who are just having to go ahead and, and allocate to the markets, given the fact that the markets have come back to a level where they have a hard, difficult time saying, you know, keeping cash on the sidelines, I guess. So those are some of the driving factors. Also, when you look at the trends in place, uh, the um, NASDAQ futures at all-time highs, and we're looking at an S&P future basically flat on the year here, maybe even slightly up on the year, uh, and continuing to see that rotation where you're seeing the Russell outperforming. We saw you know, some of the names within the Dow, the Russell, those averages and those futures markets having a very strong today with the Russell actually leading a charge once again today up better than 2%.